Hey kids, welcome back to Vikings Huddle. I'm your host, Allie Krings. Vikings fullback CJ Ham was recently given a tour of a real St. Paul fire station. And our cameras were there to capture it all for this week's Vikings Explorers feature. Hi, I'm Captain Kate Heckman. I'm here with firefighter Brittany Baker, firefighter Tulo, and fullback CJ Ham from the Minnesota Vikings. We're here to give CJ a tour um, of the fire station to give him a little taste of what it's like to be a firefighter for the city of St. Paul. So let's go. Let's do it. Uh, this is CJ Ham. He's fullback with the Minnesota Vikings. How doing? We're just uh, giving him a tour of the fire station today and letting him check out what it's like to be a firefighter. Um, kind of showing him the ropes around the station. Who's the who's the best cook? I, I see I see fingers going all different ways. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, we're just gonna head upstairs. Uh, this is where um, we stay here for 24 hours a day. And so everybody has uh, a room with a locker, um, a bed, things like that. Mm -hmm. So you can, if you don't get any calls, you get a chance to take a, to rest and sleep. So um, I've, I've seen a lot of movies and I see a lot of fire poles in these movies. So I'm wondering, is that a real thing? Do y'all use them or? Yeah, depending upon the station, some of our stations don't have it, but this station does have it and they definitely do use it um, when they need to. So, because you're asking, I can have uh, two over here. He can show you um, how to slide down the pole. Let's do it, let's see it. So, you know, you get in the middle of a run, just get up, open these doors, hook your feet around, let's get downstairs. It's a real deal. I'm next, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're um, assigned to an engine medic company. So we have the engine here, and then we have a medic rig. Okay. So there's four of us, and um, if a fire call comes in, um, we'll all jump in the engine and go out in that. And if a EMS call comes in, we'll jump into the ambulance and go in that. And okay. the opposite rig will be out of service until we get back to the station. Perfect. So that's kind of how this station runs. The person that's driving the fire engine is a fire equipment operator and they are in charge of driving us to the scene, but their other part of the job is they're actually controlling the engine and the pump. Um, they're also dealing with water supply and things like that. So if we get a working fire and we jump off this rig and they're gonna, up here we have some hoses that are pre-connected. So there's 200 feet of hose that they can pull off. And with these controls here, the um, FEO can get water through that hose. And then there's a fire pump in here to give it enough pressure so that we're getting enough uh, water on the fire, essentially. Gotcha. Hey, CJ, uh, I hope you're taking notes because I think this will be a little fun to do a little race. Uh, three, two, one, go. Uh oh. Too low. Uh -oh. oh, you better not lose. Oh. Uh, pretty close. That was pretty close. We're never doing it before this. I think I'm ready. Uh, our tests are starting this summer. I mean, you can apply. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 